All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, and it is morning, it's almost uh, 10 o'clock, but we've been up and running uh, since then. Uh, what I really want to do is uh, give you a really uh, walkthrough of how the book's going to be uh, and some major decisions that we made regarding the book, um, coming, which is actually coming out very soon. So first of all, the, one of the main things that uh, I want to discuss is uh, yesterday we were talking with uh, Ron and Jake one of the big decisions that we're going to do is we plan on actually splitting the book in half. Originally, as I have mentioned, the book is broken into three pieces. You have the story, the manual, and the teacher's guide. And uh, the major decision that came about is splitting the book. Uh, you know, I was dead set on not splitting the book. Uh, I was dead set on some other issues regarding the book, but you know, Wing Chun, adjustable, flexible, and uh, always analyzing uh, which is the right way, which is the best path. And and bottom line, this, I think, in the long run, is the best way to go. Um, the story. Now, people be, well, why, why should I be interested in the story? I just care about the Wing Chun part. Well, basically, the story is, to phrase it loosely, uh, is miyagi um, You know, I really understand how people learn. I really understand how people study. And I still recall back in the day when uh, I used to study, you know, learning dates and facts and uh, long, boring lines of you do yichikima like this or whatever, it, you don't retain it. So, but if you ask someone to uh, recite a favorite story like, um, the three pigs or uh, Goldilocks and three bears, whatever, whatever story it could be, you always remember that because a good story you, you, you re retain for a lifetime. I, I honestly believe that. So a lot of time and effort has been put into putting, uh, I, which I believe from, and so far from what I've heard from the people who have looked at it and read it, uh, a, a pretty damn good story. Um, you know, something I'm uh, very proud of. So that, uh, in essence, is what we're looking at. The book, there'll be a hardcover, softcover, and an ebook of the story first. And that's going to be released first. And hopefully, within the next two, three months, if everything goes as set, uh, that is what we're targeting for. Okay, so then you might be wondering what's the difference and what, what's the other major thing is that the in, in later summer or early fall who, who knows I it, now that we have uh, a time frame of what we're gonna do is uh, the whole book of the story manual and also teacher's guide is gonna be in iBook format and the big decision there is overall the, the is two things one we did an iBook format is because since the art is continually changing and growing I didn't want to do a George Lucas and by that I mean I don't want to have the Star Wars version, the Star Wars DVD version, the Star Wars Director's Cut version, the Star Wars 3D Director's Cut version, uh, and so forth. I, I really freaking hate that. As big of a Star Wars fan as I am, I really hate that, and I really hate the route that when 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 they when they do that. So the difference between the book and the and the iBook version is significant because the book, while having the story. Um, uh, it, it is something that the masses will enjoy. Um, the interaction uh, that I want to involve, and you know, we have that technology now, so why not use it uh, between the iBook and the story is it, significant. And I'm going to walk you through it, and so you have a little idea of, uh, of, of what I mean. Um, so, th th like, th like I said, uh, the ability for me to update it in the future as far as adding maybe uh, new changes in how I see the art, uh, new philosophies. I can update it on a regular basis. You, you'll simply just re-download the iBook and it'll say, just like a software update with your phone, uh, here are the changes that, are, that I've made. Uh, please update it and, and so forth, okay? So that's one of the big ma major changes that we decided on. The second major change is, is also uh, regarding the video. We eventually I didn't plan on putting video on it at all but now that actually thinking about it some more you know dis describing the look and feel of Tan and Bong in picture format just I don't know I'm, I'm no Stephen King <laughs> I'm not even Dr. Seuss I would say so as far as writing a book 
but I know the feel I understand the touch of that uh, or how it what it should be so I'm gonna use the video aid uh, to help me along with that and the video in itself will be 10 to 15 seconds in length there'll be no nothing as, as far as me uh, saying anything everything will be in written format and the reason I do that did that is is that you know when you compare book to movie you always say oh the, the book gave so much more detail the, mo the movie just couldn't capture it because of the limited amount of time and so that literally is the essence i want you to have an idea of what it looks like but the the book itself in words will capture exactly the the necessary nuances that you need to in order to do it correctly so what, right now what i want to do is uh, walk you through the book and uh give you a little idea of what what what, what we have in store so let me see if I can zoom this up a little more. All right, I'm here off to the side and I'll try to not get in the way of it. So right here I'm, what is a lot of where my work is. I'm doing most of the work on iBook and you can see uh, the book is made out of, uh, I think the story itself is 12 chapters. Uh, then you have a, a whole, uh, then it's followed by the manual and as well as the teacher's guide. So let's give an intro of what happens when you actually look at the iBook format. And, and, and actually, before I get into that, that's what I really want to stress the difference is that, you know, a lot of times you buy something and, and then, you know, I, I, you're like, oh, well, if you get this DVD bonus pack, you get like uh, 50 minutes of extra time and stuff like that. Well, I really freaking hate that because the significance that you of what you really get in content is just like, you know, a bunch of, you know, DVD content where people laughing and they screw up a line or something like that. I, I really, really wanted to make the, the, the transition from the book to the iBook significant. So some of the major things that steps out is when you look at the book that will first come out, the book will be that just a story. It'll have, uh, I think, a picture for each main chapter. but. But that's it. It's really meant for story format and it's really um, focused so that the, the masses can enjoy it. So the, the masses can understand what Wing Chun is and, 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 uh, and, um, and really, um, you know, if, I, if I connected the three together for the masses, I think in the long run that would confuse them. So, so let's say you bought the book and now all of a sudden, okay, a couple months later when we finally released the iBook, what's the difference? The iBook is significant because you'll see the interaction involved with the iBook. Is um, The iBook, for instance, just music, the music that we added on there is we're going to have a full soundtrack that Jake's been working on. And, uh, and uh, I'll give you a little preview of that. Uh, the artwork that Ron's going to be putting in will not be, uh, other than the cover, will not be in the main main book itself. And then uh, uh, why don't we show? Why don't I run it through you right now? Okay. So, for example, right here, as soon as you open the book, and this is it. This will be the first thing that pops up. This is not the the file that we're using. This is a temporary hold that we're using for the time being. But when you open up the iBook, it'll pop up with the trailer. And like I said, this is not the trailer we're going to be using. It's just temporary hold, just to give you an idea. So that'll pop up, and then all of a sudden, the iBook itself will open up. So the first uh, first 12 chapters of the book uh, is a story. And throughout the book, you'll see little things that will make it kind of unique on the iBook format. Here's a preface of the book uh, that you can see. Preface, preface, whatever you want to call it. And in each, uh, since there's an entire soundtrack to the book, just to give a mood setting of what you're reading at the time of the story, you'll see little icons like this. Here you have a picture of Kieran with a little musical icon, temporary for right now of the picture that we're using. But if you click it, This is the preview of the main theme of the uh, Kieran Rise, the Cast of Shadows. And it goes hand in hand with the uh, preface, giving you a uh, theme setting of exactly why you're reading it. it can, uh, you can either have it on or off or whatever when you want to read it, but just to give you an idea of you know, the real feel of what it was uh, when I was writing the book. And let's not give too much away, right? Uh, so there it is. 
uh, then you eventually get uh, to the story itself. Now the story, uh, like I said, the, the story when you get to uh, the hardcover book only when that first comes out, this will, you'll basically have a single picture of that. But when you get to the iBook, the artwork is going to be added on here. And there's a significant amount of artwork that Ron put in that will be running throughout the entire book. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? So once you get, uh, let's say you finish a story and you're like, wow, that was a good story. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but what about the Wing Chun? So let's get eventually to the manual. So chapter 13 is the roadmap. And I call it the roadmap is because right here, as you can see, is the first level curriculum of everything you need to develop to create a solid foundation in Wing Chun, from the basics to the exercises and to the details and so forth. And Right here is a tentative look. This is not the full full one. It's a, just a rough look of it, of every, uh, of the exercises of uh, the chi saw, the footwork, the turning, the first form, and, and so forth. We're going to have a full full uh, version of this that you can download and look at when you once you click it. So let's say you get to the curriculum, and these will be interactive. You can click on it and see the video right away, or you can click on it and it'll take you to whatever you want to learn. So let's say we click to the very first thing of the stance. So here we have the basic level of what the stance is. You get to look, you get to look at the stance, and all of a sudden you're like, okay, well, I want to know more about how to do the stance. The stance will come up, and you'll see little icons. And like I said, the biggest thing I, I decided to do was put the video in there and use the technology. So, for example, Yichikima, and this is not the video of it. We're going to be using some uh, uh, high-tech equipment to actually film this. But you click it on, and you'll see about a 10-second preview of me doing Yichikimima. And bam, that's it. Shrinks back down and you have the description of exactly what Yichikimima is, okay? And, you'll, and this will go hand in hand with the curriculum. So not only will you see uh, Yichikimima, you'll actually see the exercise involved with it. You'll actually see every, everything that you need to know to properly train along with the full description of, of what's happening. So with that being said, uh, let's see. Going back to the story, the story, the manual, and the, what is it, uh, the teacher's guide, they're all interactive with each other. Uh, uh, the way uh, I designed it is, in the story, um, as you know, Kieran is the main character, there'll be parts in the story where uh, she's interacting with her teacher. So right here, I don't know if you can see it, this part right here, there's a highlighted red part here in the story itself. So when you click onto that, it takes you right away to the teacher's guide. The teacher's guide is basically, uh, how, how would I say it? The teacher's guide in itself is uh, the interaction within the story between Kieran and her teacher, but it's told in a story format. Why did I teach it, do it this way? Because once you get to know the story, uh, now you can relate it from a teacher's perspective, and that's how I decided to attack it from that approach. Um, so you can see how the two relate to each other because, um, you know, really, I, I really wanted to, when, if I had put the teacher's guide within the story, the flow of the story would have been killed. It, it would just be too boring. But for those who are interested, you click it on and it'll take you to the teacher's guide. And it's kind of like a behind the scenes when they were in the, in the short story format, it'll be like, Kieran and her Sifu talked for uh, 30 minutes or something like that. And the next thing you know, um, blah, 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 something happened. But here's like the behind the scenes. If you click that, it'll take you to the teacher's guide edition. And the teacher's guide actually is kind of like their interaction when, you know, between Kieran and her teacher. And it'll give you an in-depth look as far as, uh, oh, this is how he was actually teaching, how he was thinking at the time, and, and, and so forth. So, uh, let's see. And, uh, and, and, and the, there you have a general breakdown of, uh, of how the book is going to be laid out. So literally, I think in that sense, you know, when I said the book would be unique, it, it, I think it, it is. It, I, you know, you re the fact is you really have to know the art in depth. And you have to understand how people learn. You have to understand how people 
uh, can uh, absorb information and you know uh, I wanted to make it easy and yet detailed and uh, like I said the, the whole goal was to preserve the art in a book format but yet the whole goal was also not to just limit it only to people who love Wing Chun because Wing Chun if you really understand it is is everything it doesn't matter what you're doing you can find it in cooking you can find it in studying you can find it in um, any kind of sport so I didn't want to restrict it just to the practitioners and I wanted to show exactly the beauty of the art which can relate to anything and everything that you do to the masses okay so hopefully this gives you a little idea of um, and a little taste of what we have planned for the for the book there's so much more that we plan on doing uh, I mean literally this is the first of eight uh, <laughs> I say that, I say that because uh, it, it is exhausting to to put in in, in this in this in this manner. But you know, um, I think in, in the long run, everyone will enjoy the book. Uh, I, I really put uh, our team put a lot of work into it, and we're still hoping to 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 get this done uh, soon enough. And uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, uh, thoughts, ideas, always open to it and uh, enjoy. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.